Welcome back to PJ Chain Design. Today we are going to talk about how to use a simple Rhino sweep command to making this well tail ring. Are you ready? Let's get started. Before we start in this project, for this tail right here and the shape, I always will recommend you trace from the real image. For example, you can go to the Google and finding those real image and finding those shape that you like and download it and bring into the Rhino. You basically just you need to use a picture command to bring the curve in. So I'm going to starting from this curve that I traced from the image for the tail. If you want the both sides to be symmetrical, you could just simply just mirror to the other side. All right, so that's starting at the front view and we're going to start in a circle, type it zero, and I would like to give it the diameter for 16 millimeter. If we're looking at the perspective, the design right now is flat to the construction plane and we actually need this design and follow this curve over there. So the command that we are going to use, it's called curve from two view. We're going to do it one by one. So this is the first one. This is the second one to bring that one up. And of course you are going uh, to have both top and the bottom. We don't need a bottom one. So we're going to delete that later. Let's do it one more time. This curve and this curve, this curve and this curve. All right. So we don't need the bottom one. So let's go ahead to delete those. And we can hide the one in the middle so it's not confusing us. All right. So this is the where the position you want. If you want to tilt it more, you probably wanted to do it on your original curve, not on this curve. Because once you rotate this guy, for example, I say I'm going to rotate this. And if you look at the front view, it's no longer following the circle. All right. So if you wanted to rotate it in any angle, you probably want to do it before you doing the curve from two view. So I'm going to control Z to get it back. As you can see on the front view, that's beautifully to getting into the circle. All right, then we can uh, do the cross section. For this one, I'm going to just simply using the ellipse and then going from this point to this point and coming in the front view, I can decide how thick I wanted to have there. Now this one is actually cutting inside of my ring. So you got two things you can do. You can completely moving this one above the curve there. That is one thing. Another thing is you can sweep and then you want to bowl in different uh, whatever cut it inside of the ring is up to you. So I'm going to have this one going up and maybe get it a little bit thinner, something like this, as long as it's not inside of it. So then I have something like this. This curve, it's going to be split into two curves. So I'm going to split somewhere really close to the tip there. And this curve, I'm going to do the same thing, split with the point and that's split it right there. All right. So now I have this one and this one as my rail and I have this one as my cross section. And one thing that uh, people confuse is when I doing the sweep, does my cross section has to touch my rail? No, it doesn't have to. All right. Um, so let's take a look on uh, what we get here. Sweep to rail. You got rail one rail to cross section, and then you go something like this. All right. So that will be the first one. The, the other side, we're going to do the same cross section, rail one, rail two, and the cross section, and we'll get something like this because we are sharing the same cross section. So we can actually join those two together and then this part will become solid. All right, so let's take a look on this part. Coming into the top view, I'm going to draw an ellipse again. And this ellipse, I want to make sure the vertical is click. And I want to snap into from here to here and for roughly about this height right there. Now, if you sweep like this, it's not going to be as pretty. Let me show you why. And then let's do the comparison. I'm going to do the sweep to and before we do that, 
I forgot one thing is we need to split this into two. So let's go ahead to use the split with the point. And we want to split this guy at this point right there. So I got rail one, rail two, and let's do the comparison. The sweep to rail, I got this one and this one, cross section, and I'll get this one. All right, it's not too bad, but I just don't like this one is in this angle. If this is more complicated curve, you're going to have uh, the cross section is, is getting weird. So I'm going to move in this one for the comparison, move it to the side. So let's do a 3D rotation instead of the left click. You can right click to be 3D rotation. And then we want to use this one as a rotating axis. And I want to rotate it something like this. Okay, so the reason I wanted to do that is whenever you are sweep something, if the direction of your sweeping on the cross section is 90 degree to your rail, your sweep will look much better. I also want to move this one up above my uh, ring rail. So I got something like this. Let's give it a try. We want to do sweep to rail, rail one, rail two, cross section. And then I will get something like this. All right. So notice that my cross section is look much nicer compared to the one is a slender in this way. So I usually will adjust my cross section, make sure that is 90 degree, 90 degree toward to the direction I'm going to sweep. All right. So I'm going to do it this one. So notice that this one is actually behind it. And if I move the whole things up and it's too far away from my rail. So what I'd like to do is we need to adjust those two curves. If you turn on the control point, it will be a lot of a point to edit it. So I'm going to rebuild those two and we don't need 30 point right there. We probably just need a point. And you want to see if it changes too much. In this case, it's organic shape. It doesn't really matter. So let's try sweep two one more time. I want sweep two, rail one, rail two, cross section, and hit enter, and then we'll get something like this. As you can see, the cross section is less. That is because we rebuilt it. And then uh, before you click OK, we want to record a history and we click OK. All right, so it is still below. But now because we record a history, if I wanted to move in, let's say those point up like this, the shape will follow. And then I want to move those point up a little bit more. And then this will still attach. So this one, I actually want them to go down a little bit. This one, I want to move it here, going down a little bit. So you can adjust until you find the, the shape that you like. If you feel like this is not puffy enough and you want this to be uh, puffier, so you can also do is 1D scale. I want to snapping into the quadrant to this quadrant and just bring up like this. So it will be rounder like this. Okay, so I'll leave it that uh, for you to keep tweaking. All right, so let's take a look on the ring shank. We're going to have something that is connecting from here to my ring shank and I'd like it to taper and maybe coming inside like that. Right. So I may need to break this one by split with the point somewhere here, somewhere here that we don't need a one in the middle. We just need to sweep this guy right there. And I also want to make sure that when they come, whatever shape that I have here, when they coming into the bottom, I would like them to be perfectly round. So it's going to have another cross section right there for whatever size that you like. And that's moving this one to the quadrant. And I need to uh, tweak my ring shank a little bit. So let's rebuild this guy into the th a degree three. And I would like to keep it less point possible. Let's say 10 and click OK. Now we have this. I would like to have this one kind of moving out like this and this one moving in like this and this one moving 
I don't know. I mean, depends on how you like this、uh, ring to to look like. And then we need to have another profile there. So I'm going to snapping in there, and coming over here, I would like to have this one roughly about this size. So then this is all our setup. Let's give it a try. We want to do is the sweep one rail. And you got rail, you got cross section. That will be exactly the edge or the curve, since they are the same thing at this case. So either one will be fine. We want to have this one, and we also want to have this one. And let's give it a sweep. And let's click OK. So if you like this ring, we can kind of join it. It say will break the history, but that's fine. Don't worry about that. Um, and then the bottom right there, we can simply just cap it by using C A P command, and then that will be our ring here. Double check on the render view and see if it is smooth. And if it is not smooth, you might want to adjust your rail to make sure it is smooth. And after that, you can bowling union this guy and this guy. And your ring will be ready to print. I hope you enjoy this video. If you like this kind of organic type of the model, please let me know. Leave the comment below. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next.